Okay, 2006 Land Rover, Range Rover with a 4.4. The transmission is the ZF6 HP26. And I wanted to share this problem with you guys. And it has to do with this pan. So, we know these people that brought the car in. Well, we knew though, uh, that he was recommended by somebody that we know to bring the car in. Um, so we, I was looking for the paperwork, I can't find it. I think there were some codes present, but I was just spent some time looking all over the place. I cannot find it. Um, drove it, making a noise like the screen is clogged. Whining like crazy. But when it's hot, the car really is not shifting that bad, but it still has the noise. So I said, you know, we'll check it out. We want to get it up in the air, look underneath it, check the fluid level. Um, but I like to see how it works when it's cold. So he leaves it overnight. I drive the car in the morning. When it's cold, I take off, has a delay in drive. That's not good. And I'm driving down the street. I got a flare on the one, two, the two, three, and the three, four shift. Then I had to come to a stop sign. I come to a stop sign, I go to go, car does not move. Absolutely does not move, I'm stuck there. And I'm sitting there and I'm sitting there and I'm racing it and I'm racing it and eventually it, it starts to go. with flaring on the ships. So I says, you know what, this, um, forget this, this is no good. Um, get it back to the shop and the person, uh, the manager is friendly with the people that brought the car in. So I'm talking to him because he was out uh, one day and I said, you know, this transmission is no good. It's definitely going to need to be done. Um, but I still, you know, that's just, I still want to get it up in the air and see what's going on, but the road test did not go well. Uh, so we get up in the air, we check the uh, fluid level, and it is a quart overfull. So, okay, we drained it out. We still got the filter noise. We drained it out. I'm looking around and you can see somebody's been in there because it looks like, you know, they got different bolts in there. They got nuts and bolts where maybe something might have stripped out. So, really wasn't that great of a job. And um, I'm just wondering to myself if, hey, maybe do we have an aftermarket pan? Um, so, we got busy, left the car the next morning. Uh, we, we, we pull it into our backyard. The next morning, start it up, put it in reverse. It does not. No reverse. Uh, so we let it run for a while, and we finally got it to move back it around. But the shifting is, is horrible still. And still, again, with the filter noise. So, you know, the, the, what we wanted to do is, is drop the pan. Just kind of confirm, you know, hey, if the pan's full of crap, uh, then needs a unit 100%. But let's drop the pan, see, see what's going on. And uh, drop the pan, and this is the pan, which I'll give you a close up shot. But you know, the pan is clean, really wasn't anything in there. And I want to show you the plug, too. I had to put a new plug in it, but I got that, um, uh, I got that on the other side, but I'll, I'll get it. You know, like this thing is missing over here, you know. It's, like I said, when we, when we looked at it, it, it didn't look like a, a, a great job. But, you know, we're looking at everything, everything's looking good. Um, so I said, you know what? Um, we dropped the pan of pans, uh, pans clean, and I'm looking at it, and, you know, of course, nowhere on the pan does it say made in Germany. So I can tell you right now that this is an aftermarket pan. And I'm looking here, it says filter, transmission, and then like an engineering number. Um, so that tells you right there, it, it is definitely not OE. Um, so I says, you know what? Just for the hell of it, um, more than likely if it needs to be done, he's gonna fix it anyway. So let's get a pan here. Let's get as much fluid as we can out because the fluid was crappy. Um, and we put a new pan up, uh, filled it with fluid, and you know, long story short, the filter noise is gone, and the car has been driving unbelievable for the last five days. All right, usually when you have something possibly coming apart in the transmission, and you change the filter, 
Uh, you might get, you know, honestly, one to two days at the most before it starts making the noise again and before it starts acting up again. We've been driving this car. You know, the manager's been driving it home because uh, he knows the guy and his other car is in service. So he's been driving it home back and forth the last three days. He has his errands. He goes all over the place. And he came to me yesterday and he says, this thing is perfect. It shifts perfect. Engage is perfect. Uh, no noises. So that's pretty much, you know, uh, that's why you need to use quality parts on these German transmissions. Um, there's probably nothing wrong, obviously, in the transmission. You know, I don't know if there were codes. Um, I, I don't remember. Like I said, I looked for the paperwork. I, I could not find it. But um, let me just kind of give you a close-up shot of this. And I want to go get the drain plug uh, also and just show you that because I had to change it and I had one here. But that's the reason why you definitely have to go with good quality parts and I buy from Ericsson's, I buy from my company Transtar, there's other Euro companies out there but you know the main thing is you're going to order one of these pans and you want to make sure that it's an OE pan so you know to look for made in Germany. <clears throat> I'm sure I mentioned the story of a transmission part supplier that I used to buy from that was before I kind of knew what to look for, honestly. I do a lot of work for a couple of Jaguar dealers, and we had a run on five HP 24s. So, you know, I was buying parts, rebuilding the unit, and uh, on one of them, it would be an over-the-counter carry-out. So we rebuild the unit, give it, back to the, give it back to the dealer, they put it in, oil it, stuff like that. So I get a call from them, and they say, hey, this thing's got a noise in it. So anytime that happens, you know, we go and pick the car up, bring it back here, check it out, and see what's going on. And we're driving it, it's shifting okay. <clears throat> but I said, geez, it sounds like a filter noise. So I call my supplier and I let him know what's going on. I says, you know, just send me one. I'm gonna return this as a defect. Uh, and we change out the filter, same problem. You know, now I'm starting to say, you know, what the heck is going on with this thing? Because it sounds like there's a restriction, you know, the, the, the noise that you're hearing when you hear that whining noise is really the pump starving for oil. <clears throat> so I call up um, my tech line and I get the, um, the gentleman on the phone that specializes in the European stuff and I'm telling him the story. And he says, you got a filter problem. I says, I changed it twice already. And he says, okay. He says, I still think I have a clue what's going on here. He says, I need you to drop the pan, pull the filter around, and call me back. So I do that, call him back a couple hours later, get him back on the phone. He says, you got the filter in front of you? I said, yeah. And he says, is anywhere on a filter, say made in Germany or, or Filtran, anything like that? I said, no, it just has a number on it. He says, you got an aftermarket filter. And then he asked me what I paid for it. I says, I think he charged me like, you know, $45. He says, well, it probably cost about a $2 to make. So that's when I knew what to look for. And when I called my, my supplier now, my main supplier is Transtar, they had the option of both filters. And when I asked them how much the aftermarket one was, they said it was like, you know, $5.97. And this was, you know, 10 years ago. So that's... Um, on these ZF transmissions, you know, quality parts uh, definitely is a must. And again, we had this issue with this filter uh, incorporated with this pan. I mean, it was horrible. I mean, I would have put money on it that we would have dropped this pan and this thing was loaded. And surprisingly, we didn't clean it, we didn't do anything, and the pan is clean. We put another pan up, we put fresh fluid in, and like I said, the thing is perfect. So I'll give you a close-up shot of the pan again. Um, and I want to go get the drain plug to show you how they did the drain plug. And, you know, there's a, like an 8 millimeter Allen key that you got to put in there. But it looks like the only tool they might have had whoever worked on it was a hammer and a chisel. So let me go get that. I'll give you a quick shot of, a quick shot of that. And I just wanted to share this information with you guys of how important 
you know, good parts are. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go to the dealer because, of course, it's very, very expensive, but you just got to make sure of what you're getting when you buy it. You know, there's plenty of people out there online, Euro parts. You know, I recommend Ericsson's because it's, it's just total ZF stuff, and they got good stuff, all original, um, but uh, just wanted you to be careful of what you're getting. Um, because I, like I said, even possibly some of these, uh, you know, I only buy from a few people, but um, some people that, uh, a couple of times people had purchased parts, you know, to try to save themselves some money and they would bring it to me and want me to change out the pan and like service it, but they supplied the parts and I would look at it and I would say, you know, this isn't, this isn't an OE pan, I'm not so sure you want to use this. Um, we've a honestly had that a few times as well. So let me um, uh, go and get the plug and give me a close-up shot of this, and uh, um, I'll be right back. All right, so here is the pan, and of course, if you look at it, it is, you know, identical. And looking at it this way, there's really, you know, really no way to tell um, if we're dealing with an aftermarket because it has the markings on the inside. Let me just back out a little bit here. But, um, you know, it's going to be in this area right here. This just says transmission filter, and then there's like an engineering number, uh, PA66, and whatever else it says, uh, 6F35. So this is the area that you want to look in. Um, and, of course, you definitely want to make sure it says... Made in Germany, you know, Filtran is, uh, I believe, is the maker. Uh, that's a uh, um, very good uh, product. And here is the drain plug, if you can see that. So I put a new one in, a new one in. You know, we had to get it out the same way that they did, but there's a brand new one in there now. So, again, just wanted to share this information with you which is, you know, the, the importance of quality parts with these uh, German transmissions, with these ZF transmissions, even, you know, the 722.6s, the Mercedes, uh, very important as well. So that's it for this. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a great day, and we will see you next one.